Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to game number three. This is a best out of three. This is our deciding game for the first round of the Losers Brackets. You are watching, of course, the GEST Dota 2 Challenge, Orange Esports, MUFC, LGD China, and LGD International in their first ever English cast, uh, as far as tournaments go, as far as officials go, uh, will be fighting it out for $1,500. LGD International yesterday on day one, we saw them storm their way through the brackets. They are waiting in the grand finals for whoever can make it there. Before we get to that grand finals, though, we have two best out of threes come your way. This first one on game three now, it is Orange uh, in a bit of a bad position, and they give away the mag again. I'm LD. I'm joined here today by Bulba. Bulba, we thought the key was don't give away the mag. I will say, though, I do like the Night Stalker pick to some extent. You've got the silence to help deal with him, but is it still worth giving away the mag? Uh, I don't think so. I, I think it fits too well into LGD's play style. And regardless of how well they do it in the early game, in the laning phase, like they did last game, it's like the mag is just always there. And they can endlessly turtle and endlessly just win team fights. And with the Sadlers playing the carry. But the Sven is there. So I don't know if this is going to be a one Sven or, a th or, or just like a support Sven. I know, hmm. this, I know Yao won't be playing the Sven, though, most likely. I know. But it, it could be. It even could be a mid mag. But. I don't. I don't know if the. Um, it could be, but I don't think LGD wants to aggressive try lane again. Just because when they aggressive try lane, they can't protect Siler as well, and they want him to snowball as effectively as possible with farm and levels. So I, I, I heavily doubt they're going to aggressive try lane this game, even though they have less Shrek and Sven. And they had their first game. And there is also a Bat Rider. So if they aggressive try lane and Siler is one v one against a Bat Rider, there's not many heroes that can deal with that. So, yeah, yeah. I don't think that would be the way to go. They are banning out. They they start to ban out Silas here as they get rid of the Lone Druid. Uh, as for the Sven, IG runs it as a support. We've seen Chuan play it. I think uh, YYF has played it as well. Um, I don't know that LGD has. Well, there's your answer. It is going to be a three position uh, or four position Sven, I should say. Uh, we'll, we'll 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 see exactly what position he is, but there could be dual lane still. This is big cleave. You can't, you can't count that up. I mean, there could be like a less track Sven dual lane mid. I know that DK did that, but hmm. it didn't work out that well. While Void has a like a kind of just a protecting hero bottom, a babysit hero. That could. But work. I don't know. I don't think they want to fringe on that. I mean, it's not going to be the utmost. If they have two heroes bottom, they can completely keep Batrider out of experience range and just keep him level one. And I know that LGD. Especially LGD and DK love doing that to enemy offlane heroes. Actually, everyone, everyone, every team in China does that. Just they, I mean, I know that 2009 actually criticized most Western teams just because they don't keep the offlaner level one. Right. So it's something I don't we... think they're just yeah. I don't think they're gonna let this Batrider get out of control getting levels. And even if he gets some, he's he's like you said. I mean, the key phrase there's he's not gonna get out of control. He may get some levels, but it's not gonna be enough where he can just dominate the game and. Once again, we see LGD with a team that you don't really want to jump into these guys. You, Batrider blinks in. If he gets skewered back away from his team, he's screwed. If he gets RP'd, he's in a lot of trouble. Uh, there's a lot of counter-initiation stuns, whether it's the Split Earth, whether it's the Chrono, uh, which is a Disable, obviously, or the Stormbolt. I mean, it's a dangerous team to jump into. And I'm for Orange, this is they're going to win the laning stage or they're going to lose this game. I don't really see a third option. Yep. So Orange right now, they need a... DPSing hero, and I don't think I think they're gonna try and try lane right now. They're gonna try lane. The, I assume they're gonna try and try lane. Right. But the problem is they have Leshrac and Sven on LGD. So if they try lane versus Leshrac Sven Void lane, that is still a ton of um, burst damage. And if you look, both most of the games they actually pull Siler um, Regen, so he can go PMS level one. Poor man shield. So a Void with PMS is actually insane amount of tank ability. You have huge armor because you're an agility hero. With an agility based carry, and he can withstand a lot of um, early DPS just by right clicks and stuff. So right, and then you of course you've got Warcry, you've got and you have the pulls, and you have all. Right. And this way, like it's not like the first game where if Orange pulled, they could just get dived. I mean, this is a Leshrac and a Sven. It's hard to dive those three heroes. So I still doubt this is going to be a. Uh, an aggressive try lane, but it is a possibility because they do have the heroes for it. If they, and Bat Rider is a strong safe laner. Yeah, I mean, maybe we could even see them try lane with the Bat. It's something you talked about as a possibility in game number two. 
Obviously, there are some downsides to that, but a Batrider Trilade with a Shadow Demon Rubik is pretty fearsome. It guarantees you a lot of time to walk, fly above them with Firefly. Uh, the issue is that means that probably your best mid-game initiator, the hero that you want to go in first, is possibly going to be underleveled. But, I mean, they're going to lose this game if they don't win the landing stage anyway, so we'll see. The last question for me is, who's that carry for orange? What I assume it will be Yamate. What is he going to play? Uh, I mean, there's like a few possibilities. They could SF again, but I don't think no, they No, it's want actually SF. banned, so... Okay, I didn't see that. My bad. But, I mean, there could be a Chaos Knight. Mm. Chaos Knight isn't that bad. There's a Naga? Right? I don't know if it works, but there is a Naga. Uh, That's a hero he plays a lot. That's the problem right now. So, I don't know. I, I, I think right now, regardless, LGD outdrafted Orange you know, pretty substantial. Actually, I don't know what the lanes. This is probably going to be a dual lane right now. I think this is going to be Left Rex, Ven Mid, and Venge Void. Or, yeah, this is probably well, going to be Venge Void. Safely. Venge Void is quite susceptible and weak against an aggressive tri lane. Void can, can live. I suppose Venge could sit at the tower, but then if she tries to go pull, they're dying to that tri lane. So, if it is coming from Orange. So, I, the dual lane mid, obviously very strong, but that dual lane in the safe lane is not. So, that would be a weakness of, of running that lane. I mean, they, another thing, oh, this could also be a possibility. They could actually send the Void solo mid versus the Night Stalker. Ooh, I like that. I think that could be another possibility. I mean, he's not going to be as protected, but he's not going to be facing the threat of the tri lane. And Avenge, Leshrac, uh, Sven tri lane is pretty strong. So, okay, the A and Tamage. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, you don't usually... That, that is probably a big reason. Maybe? Are they, that, that, I mean, that was actually the only choice, I think. Orange could only pick him. I don't think any other hero in the pool was left that they could. That would do enough damage. So, I mean, most of the big substantial carries were banned. What do you think we're going to see AM 1v1 against Mag to just try and... I mean, because he can do well in that matchup. He might not completely shut down Mag. Mag can bottle Crow. Mag can... Well, even when he runs out of mana, it can still be somewhat annoying in the lane just with that high armor, but... Uh, and then run the aggressive trial with Bat, or what are you thinking for the lanes for Orange? Orange have two possibilities. Since they are um, dire, they could send the AM top, like you said, versus the Mag. Um, they could, they could do that, and then they could send the Bat Raider mid versus um, the dual lane, or and they could have just tri lane bottom. I think right now they assume that there might be a just it's going to be dual lane mid, dual lane bottom, and tri lanes beat dual lane mid, dual lane bottom. Like tri lanes beat the two two one most of the time. Right, because you can just kill that, you destroy that one duel lane, now they have two heroes who aren't doing anything, then if you once you've had that good start, you can leave the Batrider alone bottom, you can start smoke ganking towards mid. Uh, but let's see what Orange choose to... How do they choose to lane this? Let's let's introduce the players. KYXY will be playing our hard carry. He'll be on the anti-mage this game. We've got Extinct on his support Rubik. He has had quite a few big games. Even when they lose, I mean, we saw what was it, game number one with the three hero, four hero storm bolts that he had stolen. That was pretty impressive. Yamate is the solo mid night stalker. Can he have a bigger impact this game? I think the hero more suits him. Just uh, something that's a little bit more allows him to be aggressive and can probably get away with it on that night stalker as opposed to a shadow fiend. Uh, in the game we saw last time around. Ice going to be playing the Shadow Demon. Ice, Ice, Ice on the Batrider. On the side of LGD, we've got Silar playing that Faceless Void. Poor Man Shield already picked up. Going to be very tanky, like you mentioned. DD playing the Vengeful Spirit. Looks like she bought the Courier. DDC on the Lashrac. He's got Observers. Yao with the early Stout Shield and the 4 base armor. He'll be going to the Suicide Lane. And it's a solo mid Sven. Well, a dual... Actually, no, sorry. Probably a dual lane, I guess, with DDC. Yeah, uh, it's probably going to be a dual lane. I mean, right now, LGD does not know the things that Orange are going to do. And like I said, I, just, I, I told you one possibility, but the other one was just going to be this, where they just do the regular Bat Raider offlane with Shadow Demon and Rubik moving around. Mm. Some um, Yamata just solo mid as Night Stalker. So the thing is, right now, because they didn't try lane, I think LGD have better lanes. Just because they have dual lane mid, and they're going to win mid. And they have a dual lane bottom, which is going to be safe lane, and they got a double damage on the Venge, which is huge. Yeah, I'm really. So they're going to get complete map control right now. I mean, this is what you would expect from LGD, I think. When when you saw the Venge pick, yeah. it's just the dual oh, lanes. Okay. So what Orange is going to try and do and counter this is they're going to just put their own dual lane bottom, and they're going to dual lane top. So they're going to try and win both their off lanes. So right now, both teams are trying to win as many lanes as possible. But since this Venge got a double damage level one, it's going to be pretty big advantage for LGD. I mean, well, it's gets get caught here. Apparently, this doesn't trouble them at all. She might get caught by the illusions. What a body block by Ice Ice Ice. So DD forced to run the other way. The DD had <laughs> actually doing nothing for him. The Napalm stacks mount. A nice chrono time walking out. Silar's turn. 
for a little body blocking. That was quite a cute little engagement to start this off. And well, in the end, the DD rune does nothing. DD yeah, forces nothing. up a lot of regen. I mean, Venge is not going to be able to do much for so. I mean, Venge's uh, like just turn rate is already so low. She's pretty bad and cast animation for her stuff. So this lane actually is going to be pretty, pretty big advantage for Orange. I think Orange have the better dueling. They're going to be winning their safe lane and their bottom lane. While Xiaoyi's gonna get pretty much free farm mid. Well, I guess LGD could try and push this tower early. Night Stalker can't do a lot to stop that. Of course, you've got well, you would have Warcry, but he's taking a point in stats. Uh, we'll see if he takes any more. One point, not that unusual. Top lane though, a skewer back to the tower. But KYXY will just blink away. Has a point in mana burn, and now this makes life very annoying for Yao. You can already see out of mana for skewer, out of mana for shockwave. He may be able to get one more cast up, but that's it. Yeah, this is an interesting adjustment. I, you know, I think we both thought Shadow Demon was just going to be down here momentarily to help set up the wards and, and protect maybe a level one first blood attempt on Ice Ice Ice, but he's staying bottom and yeah, actually love Orange's duel lanes. I mean, it's working. This game is going to get total free while Siler's already just down to three. So right now they need Xiaowe to carry the mid game. And DDC is actually making a good decision. I mean, Sven he gave Sven an early lead mid. Sven got the bottle. And he's going to have an early just because of the bottom. So he's going to try and gank bottom the invis rune. But as soon as he says, as soon as I say that, he's going to go back mid. So he's going to try and gank mid. And it's, Yamate is still getting experience. He's not getting any farm. He's got a bottle. He will be bottle crowing now. So he can just spam void to farm creeps. And LGD, uh, what, do they, what do they choose to do? They're not going for edict. They're going for more of the long range kind of counter ganking. Here comes the Stormbolt mid. Will they be able to get a first blood on Yamate? There's no Edict. I don't think there's enough damage. Maybe there will be with the Lightning. Oh, it's... He doesn't even cast it. Uh, would that have been an... Uh, I don't maybe think... Maybe just that, short. It was, a, it was just a waste. Oh, it's a level of, 1 uh, Lightning, yeah. It's yeah, a, it's a waste. It wouldn't have killed him. But this is going to make the Night Soccer suffer enough. I mean, he only has 3 CS. So, on, on the other hand, top is going to be huge. They're actually going, okay, he gets another skewer off. But that's, that's it for his mana, shoots. and he doesn't have a bottle. I think he's got to go back to base, or just sit here and wait for the creeps. The problem is, they have no kill potential as well, so he's going to get basically solo experience top. Oh, middle lane, they're so going so. to Yamate again. He's dropping low. This time they get the first blood. And, well, you said Xiaowei needed to carry the mid game, needed to create some space for those other two side lanes. And that's going to be a good start with the first blood. It did go to DDC, but that means early boots for him. If he wants that, or an up courier's already upgraded. So yeah, he'll be able to control those runes. That's the other nice aspect of this dual lane mid, is your support can control the runes quite well. Can even fill up the bottle uh, for the, the farmer in that lane. Uh, and thus you can be efficient. And also against Night Stalker, you really want to have that rune control. And if you look at Isis CS, he actually is up to 12. So Void is still suffering. And they don't have much time to pull. I mean, they're not trilating bottom. Which I'm actually kind of doubting. I, I I still feel if kind of last track came bottom. Again, again middle lane. Yamate's getting caught. He will go down. Xiaowei may pay for this. Doesn't have a... Oh, he does have... Was I didn't even see a salve in his inventory. Was that DDC's? It might have been. I thought he was out of range to cast it, but Xiaowei lives. Oh, boy. That's, yeah, that's big. That was happening. Ice Ice was actually doing a lot of damage to Sather. I mean... It's... And Orange um, Ice actually got a double damage rune, too. So... This is a, I mean, uh, and now DD has actually just got a sentry ward, so he's gonna try and counter ward this. So this is a huge like, I, I have no idea. What, I mean, LGD they're winning mid substantially, and Sven is getting a lot of farm, but AM is just gonna snowball at this rate. Right. I mean, he's getting so much more farm than LGD, and sure, AM can't really win them a team fight in the mid game, but he can just split push so fast that it, it, you don't want, you can't group up his five without. Losing oh, towers. I was in trouble top, oh. but he's still not going to die. I don't think so. Actually, he is. Maybe he will. Okay, well, XY's thinking about diving for this. The Fade Bolt comes in, and the Salve is forced out. They might be content with that. No, okay, well, XY blinks forward. I think this is a mistake to chase any farther, and he will back off. Yamate trying to get that top rune. Looks like he's going to pay with his life. There is a Split Earth. Not needed. Three kills on Yamate. Yamate just actually going for a rune there. That to me is, or maybe it was driven off the lane, not sure, but bottom lane onto Siler. They go this time, they have the disruption. He's gone for Shadow Poison, has not taken a point in Soul Catcher. Just all about the harassment from long range, whether it's Napalm. I mean, Napalm and Shadow Poison, this is just really aggravating. This is like having, this is like having sand in your pants and rocks in your, your shoes. This is no fun for Silar. I actually think KYX made a mistake there. He, there was a point where he could have blinked in and attacked him, and I saw Blink was on that cooldown. 
And he but let him get the did. salve off, yeah. And look at Top. Top, he's gonna die this time. This time he's definitely gonna die, right? Yeah. <laughs> and now they've got Mana Void up on the Void, so that next kill, if he didn't use it there, it will be a bit easier. Shao8 has a haste turn bottled, will he go for a kill? He's haste- he, he's- He had Gamata bottom as well. Yeah, they're gonna dive DD. Oh, DD's about to get picked off. Meanwhile, the haste rune is going on the top lane. DD will fall. Let's see what Xiao can make happen. He hasn't actually popped it yet. Extinct should be an easy kill. Do they try and go for KYX bar? Do they take the easy one? They want this anti mage. Oh, I don't know about this. The split earth is there. He might just blink away. No, not able to. Sick play there by Xiao I think most teams would have just went for the Rubik, but since he had the double damage and he had the. He kind of percepted in the level 4 stun. So that's a huge amount of burst damage, and he got at least one hidden. Right. With the double, I mean, with the with his ulti on, and the lightning came at the end, and it was a pretty easy, pretty close kill there on the AM. And even if AM blinked away, depending on where he blinked, it wouldn't have been guaranteed to save him because, of course, Stormbolt follows you after you blink, unlike most other targeted stuns. So, yeah, I, that was a bit. I mean, it's a bold move, but it's something they need. You, Sven continues to have a big impact, and and that is something they desperately need because bottom lane is not going well at all. You mentioned you thought the key to success versus this LGD team was to try and shut down Silar early, limit that late game controller, and well, I, I was about to say they were doing so, but then he comes mid and takes the tower, hits level I actually five. Think, yeah, the gank top and the, the tower mid, with Silar coming in and getting the goal was pretty game changing, I think. That totally messed up AM's rhythm. He's gonna have a lot slower battle fury, and he actually, he's actually going for the, the, the Sharky build, the one I saw yesterday, where they max... He's up against the Sven and a Void. I don't agree with this. I think the the other build where you go stats is a lot better. You need the tank ability. And I could I could see this build if they had like a I don't know a carry that did fizz magical damage. Like if the Shrek was the carry maybe. But oh, this is curious. Ice ice ice. It's gonna do a little cliff skating and should be able to get away to safety. So yeah, the problem with this build is this spell shield actually doesn't scale that well in the early game. I mean, it's if you look great at, at level one. Yeah, it's twenty six to thirty four to forty two to fifty, but it doesn't like. The, the increase in the percentage isn't going to be a huge factor with these like low low damage spells. I mean, obviously with like a Queen of Pain wave at level 16 it's going to be big, but it's not going to be big considering like a level what, a level 4 Sven stone or something like that. It's not, I, so I, I don't agree with this build. Right, you're up against, and even the, even the Vengeful Spirit, that's more physical damage coming your way with the Minus R for Wave of Terror, with the Vengeance R when she skills it. There is some magic damage, but it's not gonna. It's mostly gonna be physical damage after, let's say, like the 15, 20 minute mark. So, yeah. we'll see. Uh, it's not that significant. I mean, AM is there to just farm anyways. So that's one of the reasons that even Ghost stats is because you can farm faster. I, but, but I do feel like if he had a point or two in stats when they ganked him earlier, he probably would have lived. He probably would have. He definitely would have lived there. Or not definitely, but a high chance, like I'd say 80%, because he would have had the extra HP which he needed. All right, we've berated this poor AM KYXY to death for this one. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm kidding. I love you, KYXY. But uh, he is getting close to a Battle Fury and LGD. Well, this is... I mean, they ran the dual lane mid, but, you know, it's a Xiao 8 Sven. He's not going to sit back and farm. He's going to continue to apply pressure all over the map. The one hero who's really been neutered this game is Yamate. They're going to try and set up a gank on the bottom, but... Silar's level 6. He's got the Chrono. Didi will start the assault, followed up by the Silence. How much backtrack will he get? Not even needed, just the magic missile and they disengage. If this was like a, a Night Stalker with a good start, if he's level 8 or 9, had a couple of items, I think he probably just chases that anyway, but this low level not going to bother. Disruption on Sven, will the Split Earth hit? It will. Nice Split Earth from DDC. Yamate comes in, catches the Stormbolt. This could be a double kill. What a Stormbolt, what a mistake by Yamate. Running into that one, an LGD pickup too. Sure, Anti-Mage is pushing top, but that is this is too many kills to be giving away to LGD. Yep, Dawi and Leshrac are just basically winning the game right now. I probably be ready that enough, but they're just moving around the map and <laughs> creating so much space. Right, they got three kills on the Night Stalker early. They're controlling the runes. They killed off the AM, and like you mentioned, that was a rather bold choice to go for him and not that support Rubik in the lane. Like, every little decision they're making is getting them the maximum possible advantage out of that dual lane, and that's something they needed because they were losing the two side lanes. Silar will be silenced on the bottom lane, pushed back by the flame break. Now the chase is on, and Silar says, you can't chase me, I'm Faceless Void. KYXY running away on the top lane, they're trying to set up a gank on him. This one oh, will fail. Chronos them, so oh. Siler gets out free, and they're wasting they're wasting night time. I think they know that Yamata's not even level 6 yet, that's awful. 10 minutes in, you're a level 5 Night Stalker? That is hell. 
Right, it's it's not off it's not that he's playing particularly awful, it's he's up against the dual lane mid and he made a few mistakes and now yeah. it's just out of control, but it's an awful position to be in. Absolutely at this point. So nighttime is gonna last for a bit longer. He did get his level six, so he pops it near the end. He's so got a bracer. Like, you never see this on a night stalker, because he's never usually this far behind. And Xiao Eats just like I don't need to farm stacks, I can farm heroes and towers and other stuff besides stack. It's like mapping up. <laughs> oh, you. you like, I, don't, I don't need cleave. You what's a stupid cleave ability? Who needs this shit? Shot. Go try and Shots go. fired. Shots fired. Uh, yeah, yeah, I was up to level 7 as well, so now they're gonna... You know, the other thing, and something we didn't really talk about that much, is if Sylar gets shut down early, it's not just a void, it's a void with Empower, uh, Warcry, and eventually we're gonna see Vengeance are as well as Hal, so... Or Wave of Terror. So he's got a lot of spells that make him hit pretty hard even without having items and i think that might be one of the keys of this game for lgd if they go on to win it Sylar is a couple auto attacks mid they think about diving him the thing is you really don't want to be aggressive against this lineup because they've always got the threat of the counter gank coming in from yao we still haven't seen an rp are they gonna go in there's four heroes mid this is a lot of time being spent and it's not gonna work Dyer's top tower is yeah I, I have no idea i mean orange is just falling apart slowly and they're actually smoke top, so they're gonna try and pick off ice, ice, ice. It's gonna be a sure kill. And when LGD are going for these kills, they're finding them every single time. And the counter initiation from Orange, not really that scary because the Night Stalker's been shut down. The Bat Rider was the one you killed, so who's gonna come and kill you? The answer is nobody. Ice trying to come in here and at least defend the tower. How well is our AM farming? Is it enough? He's barely even ahead of the Sven. Definitely not gonna be oh. enough. Invis Night Stalker, so they could pill off something. They know they do have the positioning advantage. Oh, they want to try the Storm Bolt is here on the Yamate. It only hits one this time for once, though. God's Drain from Xiao Wei. Now the RP. Oh, they try to initiate on three, and they will pay in spades. Maybe not, though. KYXY looks to turn this around, gets one. Needs to dodge that split earth, then can kill off DDC. There is no Edict. No, maybe not. He's going to get stunned by the Xiao Wei. Oh, no. That was a kill they couldn't afford to give away, and now it's looking rather good. They might even find Extinct. He's level 7. He's got a Stormbolt. He can Stormbolt and steal this Chrono. If he doesn't get bashed to death, Stormbolt, earn. Where's that Chrono steal? He's not going to go for it. And still not going to go for it. Once, really wants that Stormbolt. Hey, I guess it's damage, and they do need it. Yeah. So the Sven with the God's Train just popped up, and an amazing RP there by Yao. Obviously not amazing, but... I mean, he just clicked it there, but it was really good. He got both, uh, I think, he got the Shadow Demon in there, and he got the Night Stalker in there, so they just about burst it down. The, this barrier is not, I mean, Ice Ice Ice, he was obviously in the off lane, but he did get a lot of farm, but he's not really doing, I mean, he can't really do much, just because they have, this Sven is just going around killing stuff, like I said before. I wonder what, um, Shao is going to go next. Yeah. Probably just go for the BKB. Yeah, I mean, maybe the BKB, because then they have to use something like the Demonic Purge or the Lasso on them, and that means they're not using those on the Void. They're not using them even just to kite the mag. Uh, so, oh, okay. He's gonna go Blink Dagger. That makes a lot of sense, though, right? Because they're playing this map control Sven. This was the old school build. This was before Sven had Any of his buffs. Yeah. It's, like... it's when Sven was really like a tri-lane support, even. You would see him go for this a lot of the time. The, the mid-trust Sven build. <laughs> there you go. Boba busting out the knowledge here. Um, and, the, and the nice thing is, there are some kills to be found on this arm side. If these supports get caught, they are pretty much free kills. Shadow Demon, sure he can disrupt, but then he's just going to get stunned when he comes out of it. So, it seems like LGD have really stabilized on this game after... You know, they had the great start mid, but it still looked like the two side lanes were going quite poorly. I suppose there is always AM. Uh, he's almost up to his battle fury. It's not incredibly fast, but it's a decent timing. But I don't know what the AM can really do. They've got so many counter melee heroes in general. Just so many stuns. Uh, of course, Void's always great against AM late game. He's got to be huge to carry this. They have a blink dagger Sven, man. Just, aren't you happy to see that? I'm giddy, I'm like sorry, a schoolgirl. I'm, I'm just giddy. Yeah. I'm happy to see this Blink Dagger Sven. This ganking Sven. I want to see him use it, though. He's just wandering around the map right now. That's sort of what I'm disappointed about. <laughs> well, inside of what is he at? He's still quite far from his battle for you. It's not going to be like a 15-minute one, but he hasn't really died yet. And they they haven't gotten... I mean, they only got two towers. So, Well, Orange obviously haven't gotten many, too, but... 
he's not gonna get he's not gonna have the farm he had last game. They did smoke, so I wonder if they can kill him. They can probably kill him at this point. Oh, he's not that. We'll get caught up by the lasso and purge. That is a lot of slows. And he tries to turn around to drop a chrono, but actually will dodge. In comes Xiao Wei. There's your Blink Dagger. But now the disruption to try and run away from him. Yamate might be the one who's caught in a bad position. It looks like he might be, but the magic missile stolen by Extinct. He's doing a lot of work this fight. The chrono finally administered onto Extinct. Now the Soul Catcher on him. RP on two. It's always an RP on at least two. And that's going to be four heroes dead. Sure, AM's pushing mid. You can't give Yao. I actually Yao don't like. know what happened with that gank. I don't know. It, it felt like the same thing. I actually thought they could have killed him there, but Rubik didn't actually use his lift. So. Mm. Even then, if he got lucky at the backtracks, who knows? Triple kill that. Yeah, they get I the mean, team if, if you can't spend, it's, it's, I mean, if you can't get void, it's obviously, obviously like no point not using your spells, right? But he didn't really use a telekinesis. And the soul catcher hit one of the neutral camps instead. So. And he had like, a, I think, a 10. 10 stick wand so he just regen back up the full and chronoed he also has max backtrack uh so it's his hp pool very deceptive but when you sit on strength throws that makes a big difference yamate another death for him this is not a hero we say Yam see yamate play often and well he's been punished all game long from the dual lane early on to the constant hate on him in the mid game this series has really been all about hating on yamate for lgd yeah and uh, i wonder what i mean what Orange can do at this point, it just seems like they've gotten to that AM is, AM isn't really the best hero versus Sven, Mag, and Void. I mean, even he is, even though he is out farming Siler, it's just not like, I don't think it's going to be coming at a point where he's going to be getting, what, a heart. He's going to need, like, a heart. He's going to need at least four items, I think, to actually out carry, out carry all these heroes. And that's just with, like, a butterfly. And he needs to have those four items when they have maybe two on the Void. If the yeah, Void's got a, three, that's it's not enough. I mean, Shao just manning up and blinking. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say Sais has got a blink, but... Again, do you really want to initiate into LGD? Maybe if they're caught out of position, but when they're... A tight four-man squad, it's pretty easy. And what do you know, Chrono's off cooldown, RP's about to come off cooldown. And they're gonna force the issue. In comes the Courier, does it have the Battle Fury? No, it's only got the Broadsword. Here comes the push, the tower will start to take some damage. We have seen DDC go back for some points in Edict. But once they establish some control over the map, now he wants to be able to push these towers a bit faster. And it's going to melt all these heroes just blowing through the creep wave in a matter of seconds. There is no anti-push for Orange. There is the Shadow Poison, but that is just... It's not there anyway, and it's really not the best anti-push spell. That's another weakness of this lineup that's being exploited by LGD. Just finding all the holes in their armor right now, working on the tower. And what are they getting as a trade? They're having KYXY, who is up to level 13. He is getting a lot of levels. That is the one, I guess the one, I think more than the farm. That's the one thing really going well for him, but is it enough? It feels like if he makes any mistakes, there's no chance. If he plays really perfectly, then maybe. Why Rubik not lifting, man? Use your lift, man. <laughs> Use your lift. What? Uh, Dino, oh. he almost died. But hey, baiting, I guess. I don't know what he's baiting, but he's baiting. The Rubik doesn't lift, man. He just doesn't He doesn't want to use it. Oh, there's a regen run on Xiao 8, but will he be able to get it off? He's so fast with that Warcry. Even at nighttime, Night Stalker barely able to outrun him, now scaring away is Yao. Anti-Mage push that top lane, force the TP back from the Void. They do get the tier 2 bottom, and they defend their tier 2 top. So overall, call it a victory for LGD. He's got up 1800 gold, I suppose. You know, the Manta style's maybe four or five minutes off, but Void is going to have his Battle Fury and be on his way to, I guess, the BKB at that point. We'll see what he goes for, but KYXY. He does have his Yasha soon, so yeah. his farm can escalate even more. But, like I said, he's going to need at least a Manta, a Heart. And, a, and probably, a, I would say a Butterfly, but there's always Chrono to, to remove your evasion, so. Yeah, I don't know. And, uh, and even if he's got all those items, if he actually gets chain stunned by RP, all all the stuns on LGD, I think he still dies even with close to a max inventory. Yep. And Sven has his um drums up, and they're smoked. They're trying to pick off this AM. They know that he's just farming the neutrals right now, and they actually ping the exact location. Well, they have an observer ward here, but I don't think it actually saw him blinking forward to Shao, and he's gonna catch KYXY. Perfect chain stun. Couldn't afford to die at all. He gives one up. Look at that. Look at that. They had a ward there. They saw the. They had the vision of the Sven farming. Am farming, and they just ran in. The blink Sven.
No other hero would have done that except the Winx. Oh, you know what they did? They just saw him when he blinked to that third camp. They didn't see him at the camp. They saw him right when he's going into it. There's the disruption and the soul catcher on the Shao 8. But he gets swapped back in. Ice is looking to be dead. He will... It's so hard to avoid getting picked off when you're dealing with a blink span, a mag who... Well, he doesn't have a blink, but they also swap. I mean, they've got these positional mobility skills. Plus, you've always got time walk, and Void was aggressively pushing that time blade. He's got his Battle Fury. And with that death to Anti-Mage, who didn't go for a Yasha, actually went for a Vlad's. I guess helps you push a little more than the Yasha. Uh, but really, that Vlad's... It's nice against Warcry. It's not useless, but... This is not a game-breaking item by any means. I think if you buy a Vlad, you usually just want to fight even more. But considering the sta the status of his team and like the items they have and the levels, I don't think he should. But I guess it's his choice. I don't know. It just help you split push, but it just seems like the wrong item at this point. However, at this point, I mean, like at the stage of the game, I, I don't know what he can do. He's just like fighting versus the ropes. Especially after that last death. That was pretty big. He had... I don't think he bought at the point. I think he just had 2k and then he came back and he's like, let me just buy a Vlad's. Uh, Yamate just it's level 9 is a solo midnight stalker. We're 22 minutes in. I actually want to do a level check in general. Uh, there you go. He is... He's almost tied for the lowest level in the game. Anti-Mage finds a kill mid off the back, back of a Blinken from Ice Ice Ice. Looks like he used the lasso there. They get Xiao 8. But the way Xiao 8 is playing, I think it's okay for him to die. He's not... He's not their carry, he's not being counted on to shoulder the load. He's just an initiator and a mid-game controller for LGD. But they do find a kill, that means more time for KOXO to farm, more time for him to push. Let's see what they can accomplish. Orange, not completely out of this, but still in a bad position right now. Uh, I think there are... I mean... Look at Ice Ice, he's just standing there. No idea. Trying to juke. This is Ice Ice Ice, man. He won't leave until like, he absolutely has to. <laughs> like, if you're ever trying to... Don't ever let this guy in your bar, because you'll be trying to close it, and like four hours later, somehow he'll still be there. It's, it's rough. Well, Ice is going to try and do what he... He's going to try and stack. He's stacking. Oh, I've, I, we haven't actually seen a stacked camp in the past two games. How could you with all these heroes being picked? Night yeah, Stalker, exactly. Mag, Sven, there's just no chance. Can we, can we, can, can you just look at the stack ancients? There's two dragons and there's mini dragons. I haven't seen that many dragons in a while. That's enough, enough, enough comments from you about stacking, I think, for the rest of the times that you cast with me. <laughs> You're such a, such a hater. Uh, it's, it's true though, we have seen a lot of stacking in other, other tournaments. KOXY is going to go for the split push, he's got a Yasha up. And uh, this is the one thing that, you know, may allow Orange to hang on for a while, at least, is the fact that they can just force TPs back. In fact, they're going to cancel Silar's TP. He's going to have to walk back. KYXY seeing this might even go in for a few more chops at the tower. It's Mag TPing in, but Mag by himself can't find the kill, and will blink away. This might open up Roshan for them if they want to go for it. AM is up to, I think, 200 CS, so he's still farming quite well. He has his Yasha. He's going to have his Manta somewhat soon. So this game isn't totally out of the bag. Even though he is versus... Vo I mean, um, Siler isn't even... Siler is quite farmed, but he hasn't, like... He's going to have his battle, but BKB soon. And it all... For LGD, they've got an amazing team fight, but it does, to some extent, hinge on that team fight. If they whiff a Chrono and an RP, I think they're in a little bit of trouble, because AM is going to kill your supports a lot faster than Void. Uh, outside of that chronosphere, so yeah, I'm with you. Orange still have a yeah, shot. So, I mean, looking at the net worth, I mean, AM is still just 2k up just because he had free farm while Void had to play versus the dual lane bottom. But I don't think it's a substantial lead. I think AM should have like close to 5k increase in net worth to be effective at this point compared to the Void. Right, and uh, as always, he's still got he's still got the empower. He's got the vengeance arm. He's got the Wave of Terror, so he's hitting a lot harder than what his net worth might suggest. Uh, KYX might just continue to be a nuisance in this top lane. Manta is coming soon. He may also start to be able to find some solo kills. LGD 4 manning towards him. KYX might will TP away. This is waste of time for LGD. I almost feel like they'd be better off just trying to farm more, but they're intent on just pushing and then running away when they realize the Void, or the AM is pushing their Rex. Hmm. Quite, like, not as aggressive of a game as we saw the last two, at least. 
haven't, hasn't seen as many kills or team fights. I just think because Orange has to, uh, they have to split push at this point. And then they have one hero to really split push. Ice 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 is still pretty poor. He does have the gem at least. So that's a positive. But he can't really exactly do much with that. So he's trying to be an annoying pest. And AM is getting his Manta. So he's got so them. That's actually pretty fast. I mean, 25 minute Manta Vlad's Battle Fury is. And this was with that death. Not, not so much. He, he's 234 CS in 26 minutes, almost 10 CS a minute. That is quite good, especially considering he did die. He has been, did die, he's three and four. <laughs> That's really impressive. Void time walks in, ice, 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 fireflies away. And five, again, LGD with the five man. He's just trying to find kills. And while this is happening, Yamate's, the AM is beginning by far the bulk of the farm, but you know, even some other items are coming up like the BKB on the Night Stalker. You already mentioned the gem. On the Bat Rider, I gotta say, I feel LGD would be in a lot better position just sitting back and farming, but they keep on trying to find kills and push, and they're yeah, wasting a lot of time doing level, it. It's level 18 AM versus just a level 13 Void. So, this is no joke at this point. I think he just farmed the stacked Ancients. The stacked Ancients are gone. Mm -hmm. So, I have no idea. I mean, they don't really have a plan right now. That's the thing. Or I guess they do have a plan. Well, I just don't, I don't think their plan fits the game. Their plan is to five man and try and force a fight at the enemy tower. But when they try to do it's that, AM just pushes the past. others. Yeah. And they do have the, I mean, they have the BKB as well. So, and he does a lot of damage with the EM power. He's close to like 250 DPS right there. I mean, for me though, like, let the Void, let the AM get big. Just farm yourselves. At one point, the Void was what, like a thousand gold behind the AM? Of course he's going to fall behind. Because AM just farms faster, that's the beauty of having Blink, but he wouldn't fall that far behind. And instead, they've tried to, they've, how, if you add up all the time, time wasted going for these ganks, collectively as a team, I want to say they spent like, you know, 20 player minutes trying to find kills and failing. Yep, and looking at the gold lead, just overall, it's close, getting close to zero just because of this AM. And they haven't and, taken Rush yet. Yeah, yep, and even the net worth. It's like you can see it's AM all the way up there and all the LGD heroes falling with Avenge right between the Rubik and the Shadow Demon. Of course, when you have one hero this farmed, if he ever dies or gets caught without buyback, uh, or uses his buyback and then dies again, if any of these things happen, it doesn't matter if KYXY has 30k, 40k, 50k gold worth of items. Orange can't fight without him, so that is one thing to keep in mind. But every time they try and push mid, KYXY is aggressively pushing one of these side lanes. And LGD, once again grouped up as five, they are just beating their head against this wall. Will the hall, will the wall break first, or will their heads break? We'll find out. But now, like, they put, they group up as five mid, and then they back off to defend the towers. It's just the same pattern over and over. Ice 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 might get caught though. Uh, honestly, I think they're okay with losing their bat rider, although he's got a gem, so maybe not. He's got to blink away, but he can't. Oh, onto the cliff. Onto the damn cliff. This is stupid. This is absolutely stupid. <laughs> it is. You want to talk about Skira being broken. I'm sorry, but that should not happen. <laughs> he's just trying to be an annoying pest, too. I mean, it's working. AM is just farming being a pest, but he's just trying to... Like clown around in the middle of four of those five heroes. Now he's four. He, KYXY is now 4k gold ahead. This is the lead's almost doubled for him, and it's because LGD's void isn't just farming, he's running around with the team trying to push. Are they? Mm -hmm. Is this game. Is there any chance this game is just slipping away from them because of their strategy? They still do have the better team fight. Right. So keep that in mind. The problem is they haven't been able to just go straight up push mid. Just because they have, I mean, Rubik, there's a Rubik, there's going to be a Shadow Demon there just shooting out the Shadow Poison. And if you look at oh, Ice's build, he did go for the build that stops pushes, just with spamming the Shadow Poison on the wave. So smart choice by him. And because they realize they just need to stop, uh, just turtle up and stop <laughs> any of LGD's pushes. You, you called him a pest, that is the perfect, I don't know if there's a big bat infestation problem anywhere that you in the world, but, I mean, if there is, it's probably in this game. Look what he's doing, he's just trying to clown around. <laughs> uh, I, it's not clowny if it works, though, right? <laughs> it's pretty funny. So far, it's working. <laughs> he's probably laughing. Oh, they finally find that opening. Uh-oh, Sven. Oh, maybe not, though. Here comes the turnaround. Shaoi doesn't have his BKB. He went for draw. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, during the cast for the 
Demonic Purge, he pays with his life and will fall to that. And now Extinct probably going to die to Meltdown to Edict as well. Am is pushing top, but he's not at the base. And this is the opening that they were looking for. Yeah, I think this was pretty big. I mean, but Am is just their two supports that died. It wasn't really a core hero. And they, they'll and, actually uh, respawn by the time they get here. Yeah, and Ice is making the, the path. The thing is, they, they in their situation, they would have tried a Roshan, but AM is just pushing top. Mm -hmm. Siler had to go back and defend. I almost want to say, like, you know, Orange could just be the ones going for Rosh themselves right now because so many heroes just TP'd back. <laughs> what is on this cliff that I'm missing? Is there some sort of delicious food here? Is there, like, a really nice, a cute girl? I mean, everybody wants to be on the cliff, apparently. Guess they were dewarding, but I don't know why the entire team has to be up there to do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just waiting for one of the teams to try and go Roshan. If you get the Aegis, there's a possibility that one of the teams can go into each other's base. Right now, both teams are just like kind of scared. I mean, we, they don't want to throw it. They don't want to like force too much of an advantage. Because knowing LGD, they're a team that loves to push when they have a huge lead. Like close to like 15k or 20k. And Orange, on the other hand, aren't exactly like that. But they realize with the AM and considering Yamata has no farm, but he actually has, I mean, a substantial item right now. He has a BKB, even though he's 0, 7, and 2. So, not the best game for a Night Stalker, but he does have the item he really needs at this point. Whenever KY... So BKB isn't going to be that useful versus what? Void and, and RP. Right. <laughs> Unless they miss them. That's always a possibility, but we'll see. He just continues to farm and farm. He's bought something now. What is it? It's a completed Art of Tarrasque. Well, you said he needs the heart. You said he needs the Manta. And then he's got to get that one extra item. He's got to get that fourth item. I'm thinking the butterfly. Yamate is in Viz, but it doesn't matter. They actually use the reverse polarity just for that. They do kill the Night Stalker off, and they force out a BKB charge. That was the 10-second charge. Oh, they're finding kills. I'm just, I'm not convinced that they're finding enough kills to make it totally worth it. Yeah, I mean, it's really hard to say. Before he comes into the fight, like you said, he's gonna need the fourth item. He needs the butterfly. Once he gets that butterfly, it's going to be pretty hard for them to DPS him down. Even if they get a good RP off and a good bunch of chain stunts. So. <laughs> ice, ice. Oh, ice, ice, ice. You're too, you are too much for me, sir. Too, too much. <laughs> look what he's doing. He's yeah. guaranteed he's just laughing. Oh, look at these guys. They're just trying to kill me. He actually, can't. Did, you, did you see his G1 League game where he completely airballed a black hole? Yeah. Apparently, apparently he was cracking up, and everyone on Orange was like yelling at him. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That's what he said in his interview, anyway. So yep. he's trying to be the devil mice. Ice. Sorry, it's a bad joke. But <laughs> I was actually up. reading the chat. Like, what was your bad joke? I missed it. I don't know, I just... Oh, okay, why X, Y, are they gonna chrono for this? They don't have... Void doesn't have mana! Now AM blinks away one, Stormbolt is here, but he's in the trees. KY, X, Y, if he escapes, this would be huge. If he dies, it could be a lot of trouble. RP is still on cooldown. This is five heroes trying to gank an AM and failing. He's just gonna start blinking through the trees. Ice, ice, ice. It's gotta be uh, a... That was, that was actually pretty big. I mean, they're all out of mana, and they're gonna get Roshan because of that. That was a pretty big play there. Misplay there by LGD. Yeah, I mean, even if they ran straight towards Roshan and got there in time, they don't have mana for the Chronosphere. They've gone of mana. Uh, well, actually, they do for the RP now, but yeah, it's, and also just walking there, gonna take too long. This is always something you have to worry about. If, if Anti-Mage draws you to the top side of the map and then TPs away after the split push, he can show up and go to Roche, uh, and he'll kill it very quickly. Now, he's gonna have an Aegis. I think this is maybe not quite the time to strike, but the time to start looking for openings for Orange. He just should go to the AM. Uh, the Batrider starts the fight off with a Firefly in the middle of the entire enemy team. Trying to draw a spell. All he draws is a Stormbolt. Is that going to be enough? Now the Silent Sun Yao. Can they focus him down? They're working on Xiao Wei, but a Chrono on everyone in the middle of the Night Stalker BKB. Chrono stolen by Extinct. Is going to Chrono two enemy heroes. KYXY though is stolen. Uh, is stunned. Is being bashed. Blinks onto the high ground. Now comes back onto the low ground. Unloads the ult. Kills off one. Still has the Aegis. He'll be right back after these messages. But will there be a team left to defend when he survives, when he returns to this fight? Manta cooling down in seven seconds. Now the mag skewering onto Extinct. Skewer stolen by Extinct, but dry pulls the mag with him. That is not something you want to attach to the hood of your car. Silo trying to blink, trying to time walk away. KYXY still giving chase. They might be able to find this kill in Silar. Instead, they back off. Uh, it looks like someone must have bought back in that fight. It was Ice 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 who did. 
Uh, did anybody else actually? Not just ice, ice, ice. What a crazy fight. And the sad thing is it didn't really accomplish anything. I mean, even though three of Orange's heroes died, AM still got a kill. He's up to 3k right now. He's going to have the butterfly soon. If that's what he's going, I still don't know. Another possibility is that he could go for the MKB just because he knows Void is going for the butterfly. But he's still, with that, he's not going to be able to evade all of Sven's attacks. And butterflies are really actually a good counter versus Sven. Especially on anti-mage. Because you, if you, if you, if the aim hits the void, it's just gonna... He just evades most of the hits from the Sven. Right. And you wanna, you wanna try and evade most of the hits from the Sven, because Sven does a, a shit ton of damage. <laughs> Especially because he's probably gonna have uh, the Empower on him during these fights. The other option, I think, is, you know, to go for the Abyssal Blade. Because they, uh, having that initial stun, maybe you kill off Mag before he's able to use this Ghost Scepter or his RP. Maybe you kill off the Void. Uh, or force him to use a BKB in a bad situation, waste his Chronosphere. We've seen a lot of voids in the past go for the late game Abyssal. It doesn't really do max DPS because most of your damage comes from the Manta Illusions, but it gives you the crucial lockdown uh, that sometimes you're lacking. If you get lucky with those bashes, you just never know. We'll see. Siler might get caught top lane. This would be big. This could be huge. Demonic Purge on him. He's going to Chrono. And now the Chrono stolen. They wanted him to use it, and he will. He's, tra he's trying to TP out, not able to do so. Monovoid to cancel that. What a turn of events. And Void dead for a full minute. No buyback on him. Oh, sorry. He's actually going to have it in eight seconds. So he does a buyback to work with, I believe... What a weird game. Are they guess... really going to win this game? I mean, at least take Rax. This is not something we would have expected. But all that waste of time from LGD may come back to haunt them. Wow. I mean, one of the things Brax actually talked a lot about is, regardless of how much of an advantage you have, it's like you have to have a hero that goes inside the base. And that's one of the reasons that Luna is just like was such a hero that everyone loves right now. Right, because just she just makes it so base. easy. Yeah, she makes it so easy. But they don't have that hero to- oh, look at Ice going in the middle, he's getting out Yao. Oh Looks no, locked. this- the Chrono is here, this is- I think that's the Rubik Chrono, it is, but it actually trapped the Void inside- or the anti mage rather, but he will blink away to safety. So Crisis averted there, Night Stalker running away, nobody has died yet, this is 10 heroes still alive, Extinct will be the first one to fall, Ice will TP away. Uh, actually a decent defense, that Chrono almost cost the Void his life. Uh, or the, not the void, the AM is like. <laughs> that was kind of like pre. I, I don't know why. Like Ice just randomly went on the. He went on the right hero. He went on the mag. He stopped him from RP. But like you said, that Chrono was kind of questionable by their by the Rubik. That was actually. I don't even think like even if Void gets Chronoed, they have Shadow Demon to disrupt him if he gets um like bursted down. Uh, so I've I've infected you. You're making the <laughs> keep on calling the AM the void just like I am. Uh, Wait, what did I say? You said a void gets Chrono, which is what I've been saying oh, all, sorry. all yeah, game if, long. If AM gets Chrono, <laughs> Shadow Demon can just disrupt him. And uh, that's a problem right now with Shadow Demon in the back. And Ace, um, Ace is having good positioning too. He's not getting caught in the Chrono. This is very similar to what we saw out of Shao 8. Uh, although when Shao 8 played Batrider in G1, he was way farther ahead. But just always jumping into the middle of the enemy team. He doesn't even really care who he lassos or if he dies. Although he's obviously trying to get the high priority targets. But... It's just about drawing all the focus fire, and he's, for the most part, he hasn't drawn, like, a, a reverse polarity or anything, but he's drawn a, a Storm Bolt, a Split Earth, even a Magic Missile. It makes a difference, because then that's one stun that's not going to KYXY. It's not going to those supports who need to be around uh, to steal spells like Chronosphere to disrupt the AM if he gets caught. So, I gotta credit Ice Ice Ice. He doesn't have any items, but he's had a, he's been very disruptive in these team fights. I mean, all he did was just, he tried, he had the gem, he hasn't lost the gem for the past, like, 20 minutes, and he's just going around dewarding LGD. Mm -hmm. He's just, like, fireflying up, and with firefly, obviously, you get full vision, and uninterrupted vision, and he's just going around trying to kill LGD wards and all, like, the cliff areas and stuff, and he's succeeding at it, which is pretty funny. It's funny, and it's really annoying, and <laughs> look at LGD, how often do we see a map like this if you just switch... Where they don't have much. I mean, normally you watch a team like LGD, if it's an even remotely even game, they see everything. They don't see a whole lot right now, and it all goes back to Ice 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 having that gem. Yeah, the problem exactly right now is how how you counter a five-man Dota is you split push. And the king of split push is obviously AM. I mean, it's an obvious statement to say, but... Nature's Prophet would like to have a word with you. <laughs> I guess. I mean, AM, the, AM split pushes faster right, than right. any other hero just because of, of the Battle Fury. And he went for the butterfly, he has the Vlads, and with that Vlads, he can actually solo the Void after Chrono ends. 
So he's gonna live during the Corona because of heart. Once he comes out, obviously he has evasion because no one on Radiant has a B MKB. And he once obviously when he just attacks the void in one on one, even with the backtrack, he's gonna easily solo him just because of the lads. I also want to point out there are triple Ghost Scepters up on LGD, and I think the big one to point out is Lestrak, who has 1500 mana. If he ever Ghost Scepters at the wrong moment, and this is something we've seen with late game anti mages, if you hit a big mana void on a very high mana pool, uh, or high mana pool, low mana intelligence hero, it can instantly kill the entire enemy team. So uh, his DPS is quite good already, but a big mana void could really. That's another tool that Orange could use to just break a fight open and, and and disrupt the team fight. So we'll see what happens, but he's been pretty efficient now with his movements. Blinking from camp to camp, you can see him occasionally uh, just sending those illusions in to scout things out. And also burning away all of the mana. Shao it's out of mana. This is this is another reason they you mentioned it earlier. They have troubles pushing and, or fighting Roshan in some cases because AM illusions just kill all your mana without the hero even committing himself. <laughs> it's very annoying. I just want to look at Ice Ice Ice, what he's doing all the time. He's just going around, <laughs> fire flying random trees. You have a 1v1 uh, show match coming up with him soon, don't you? Really? Yeah, there's a little little pregame chatter. I, I think you guys agreed that you were going to 1v1, oh. duke it out, see who's the best invoker in the world. I guess he has that, actually. I don't know. My invoker has been. I haven't really played that hero. Oh, Bulba dodging. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Fine, if I, if he wants, I'll do it. I don't care. Uh, I'm I'm just I'm bringing this up because these two are uh, good naturedly ribbing each other in the pregame. He was calling me a muggle. What can I do? <laughs> How do you just call someone a muggle out of nowhere? I love that reference too. Busting out the Harry Potter there. Pretty cute stuff. Well, this is this is I, I wouldn't call it a stalemate, but this is turning into quite a chess match. 42 minutes in. What was the last game? Like, th two kills per minute, three kills per minute, now it's less than a kill per minute. Such a... It's such a... From game to game, I gotta say, especially this tournament, but really all our Asian Dota lately, it's just like every game feels totally different. Whether it's the picks, just the way the team, the games are developing. So many unusual things. Like, and even like bringing something like the AM out, which what he's, has not been picked at all, really. I think Siler played him once in G1, but that was pretty much it. Oh, ice, ice, ice! <laughs> oh. oh my god. The balls on this one. Yo. <laughs> if anything, he's just succeeded to make annoy the hell out of them. So, they are so annoyed right now. Granted, it's Chronosphere, it's not Black Hole, so the cooldown isn't that long, but this gives them so much confidence now. <laughs> It's half a PGG Chrono, or Black Hole. <laughs> you, did you really just compare Silar to PGG? I'm sorry. The chat's taken me over. <laughs> I think you've taken over the chat, is the right way to talk. Oh, man. Look at that AM. He is as big as you can get, pretty much. You can get Boots of Travel. Blink in to start this off. They catch up the AM. Remember, there is no Chrono, but there is RP. Catches a few, but can they actually kill off KYXY? That's the thing to keep an eye on. He's still at full health. Now he's slicing and dicing. Unlaunches a good mana void, bringing everyone down. No, maybe not. Spend with the God Strength, driving him back. But now, once this God Strength and KYXY will go back in, he blinks forward onto DDC. Gets one. Can KYXY wipe them all, or will he be the one to fall down? He gets skewered back in and will be brought down. What a kill. He buys back immediately. Does he have Boots of Travel? He buys the Boots of Travel. He's about to rejoin this fight momentarily, or maybe go into Roshan. So without Chrono, there's still RP and fight still goes pretty well for LGD. You know, Yamata has his AGs, so just wanted to note that. I mean, this guy is 0, 9, and 5, but has his AGs on BKB 44 minutes. Actually, has the same scores as his F last game, but he has more items. Or around the same items, but probably more influential. This game, he was dual lane mid, so... They, I mean, they did put some attention into shutting him down, but boy, did it ever work. Gonna sell the flats now. Uh, has 3,000 gold. No money for, or, or no buyback cooldown, rather. And LGD, they want to fight at Roche. They do have the Chronosphere, but Yamate's in Viz. Is there a gem on the map? There's a double gem for LGD. There's also a gem on Ice Ice Ice. There's three gems afoot, so Invis runes are not enough to keep you safe anymore. Here comes the five-man Dota. The downside to going for their... Actually, they backed out of Roche. They didn't even complete it. AM... In fact, they're probably just giving this away to LGD now, so they don't get Roche, and also the lanes aren't really being pushed. 
Uh, well, bottom is. LGD thinking about Roche, thinking not about Roche, now going back into it. Xiao 8's gonna focus on this. Xiao 8 has an assault Kura. Xiao 8, by the way, is 11, 1, and 15, and it's played something totally different this game, a dual lane mid Sven, and now with Void having the, the Aegis. <laughs> were they looking for the Batrider? I think they were swapping. No, um, Ice actually threw a flame break in and. One oh, of them he got pushed, stuck. pushed him up. Okay. Yeah. I actually thought he would have. Uh, he was Firefly, so he had vision of them doing Roshan, but he didn't man up and go for the Aegis. So. Manning up into that team is pretty bold. But you would think he would do that, but he probably doesn't want to lose the gem or die anymore. It is Ice Ice Ice, so yeah, you, you would always think he would do that. Speaking of which, does he have an item on the way? Oh, no, he doesn't. <laughs> he is not progressing items at all, and again, this is what I was talking about earlier. If your AM ever dies and doesn't have buyback, Everything lies, rests on his shoulders. There is no secondary carry for this team. There is nobody he's even remotely threatening. Mm. I don't know. It just feels like it's kind of becoming a stalemate. But at this point, I mean, late, late game at this point, obviously Void, when he gets on the same levels as items. Sorry, I say obviously so much, but right, he's going to uh, out-carry him just because of Chrono and his inherent more damage. And AM is actually 10k above Void, which is huge. The problem is AM sold his Vlad, so he bought the bots. He's probably going to go for the Abyssal next or the MKB. One of the uh, He needs one or the other. So it's probably going to be the Abyssal, just because he needs the Disable on in, during the BKB. Yeah, I, I, I think he's got to go for that. I mean, MKB, sure, Void's dodging less, but you, you need the lockdown. I mean, how many actual stuns does this, does this team... Okay, well they have a big one. <laughs> Rubik actually has reverse polarity. Not sure if you caught that, but he matched oh, the steal at some point. Uh, they smoked. They're gonna try and force a team fight. I mean, Xiaoi did have his AC. He has 2.7k. He's probably gonna go for the day Dallas after this. He has like, on the drums with that charge, so he's probably gonna sell that after, but... And this is... Around. It's kind of how you deal with Batriders. You have two heroes that do a ton of damage, so you can lasso one. You can't lasso both. They have pretty good positioning, though. They're going to start on ice, but he dodges the Storm Bolt with the disruption. Remember, Rubik... Oh, his RP just wore off. He doesn't have it anymore. Could have maybe made a huge play instead. He's probably going to die. And this game might end with a bit of a whimper after having some big bangs along the way. X getting swapped back into the Magic Missile, into his death, frantically... Solo Chrono on Siler, all the revenge. He needs a revenge for that. No, oh, he got it on the bat. <laughs> gem on the floor. Who needs a gem when you've already got double gem? Well, it looks like they... Who needs creeps, Who needs creeps when you have God Strength and then power? <laughs> and an AC. Oh, this is... So much for backdoor protection, huh? <laughs> so much for slow pushing. Try slow pushing faster than this. Yeah, this, is... this is how it ends. This is how it ends. This is how the world ends. This is how Mortar was taken down. Double Rex with backdoor protection active the whole time. Oh yeah, yeah. Well, Bulba. I thought this game might have a really exciting end. This was not the exciting end I was hoping for. <laughs> just two racks. What is that for AM? Just more farm for him. <laughs> just more farm. Yeah, the creeps will always be on his side of the river now, so he he's got more places to to farm Even freely. Less, it's more. So he's gonna at least get his creep count up there. Well. 30, his net worth is absolutely outrageous at this point. It's, it's 32k almost. And he's got, he has got the Abyssal Blade, and I think he's got buyback uh, after that Abyssal Blade. No reliable gold, so maybe it would be just a little bit short, but close. There's no, there's no, there's no more items to get after that. I don't that. know. I mean, he, he hasn't outright bought the Abyssal. He can still go rape here, so... He has the you... relic there. I don't know. It hmm. depends if he has man up or not. I mean, that that does help him to sort of become an assassination style hero, and that's kind of what they need. I mean, if Orange win a massive team fight and LGD don't have buyback, then maybe they've got. He's just standing in the corner trying to slip. Oh, he's stuff. baiting, and they're gonna take the bait because the rest of the team is on the way. But will he actually live through this amount of damage? I'm not sure. They pull the spend back. That's most of the damage gone. Now KYXY trying to find a target, focusing on Xiao Wei, but the Chrono is here, and KYXY is gonna die. He's gonna have to buy back. No Abyssal Blade coming out for him. They did use Chrono for that. They did use a lot of abilities. RP on cooldown as well, but doesn't matter. They killed the AM. That seems to be all they need to do to win a bio one-shotting. And then a double one-shot. Shall wait. One shot's one. No scope from Silar to finish that kill off. And Silar, I mean, um, shall wait, instead of going that he just, they realize they need an extra tank just to sit, sit there in this fight. So he has his heart. 
So is, he's actually pretty farmed as well right now. Not as big as either the AM or the Void, but still quite significant. I mean, the Sven had to be fo <laughs> they had to use Lasso on him because he was going to kill the AM otherwise, unless the backtracks were really lucky. Uh, and of course, you can always attack... Or not the backtracks, the evasion. And of course, you can always attack another target besides the AM, and the splash can't be dodged, so... It's just another way they can deal with that evasion. Oh, boy. Orange. They put so much faith in KYXY's AM, but also... That was literally 40, 30 minutes of Ice Ice just going around. <laughs> de and, and AM just went pushing. And for it to end like this, most likely, they do lasso Yao. He doesn't have RP for a little while, but KYXY is just getting chain stunned, bashed to death, and this is what you talked about, that AM just not holding up in the ultra late game uh, to these other carries. He blinks away to safety, but... Meanwhile, the third lane of Rex falls. This is going to be Mega Creeps. This is going to be LGD. A shaky start, but a strong finish. Moving on where MUFC waits for them. If they can beat MUFC, we will have the vaunted LGD CN versus LGD International. Their first official showdown. Sure, these guys scrim against each other all the time, but that would be a sight to behold. Of course, MUFC, they're going to have something to say about that. They have looked very, very strong. Monovoid is used on Xiao 8, although that mana pool was empty. It's only 600. Doesn't actually do that much. DDC dropping low. RP on a few. Ken Rubik's stuff. No, there's the Chrono. And it's actually holding everyone in place except for Silar, who's just killing the enemy team. Now once Yamate, the army of creeps are perhaps doing the most of the damage in this game. Boba, that's going to wrap it up. Rapier. Yao picked up the Rapier, so... He has the Rapier. It was funny because he had a rapier and then he was just not doing anything with it. <laughs> uh, GG's come out. So LGD, move on to face MUFC in the loser bracket finals. All I can say about that game. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up already. You're too much. All right, guys. I'm LD. Twitter.com slash LD Dota. More importantly, if you enjoy some clowny casting, he's Twitter.com slash Bulba Dota. You'll probably see him playing again soon. Last seen with the A team missing in action since then. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Bulba, any shout outs? Anything you want to say to the people out there? Uh, thanks for watching and follow me at Twitter and uh, shout out to LBC. That's it. All right, thanks for casting, Bulba. It's always great to have you aboard, and we'll hopefully have you back in the future. But for now, guys, that will wrap it up for this series. We move on as far as our brackets go. It will be LGD CN who moves on to face MUFC. The potential all LGD Grand Finals is still a, it's still in the cards. It's not guaranteed, but it's a, it's a possibility at this point. MUFC they have to go. LGD has to go through them first. Can they do it? That will be a best out of three. Our Grand Finals will be a best out of five with LGD International in their first ever English cast of tournament appearance, having a one game advantage in that best out of five. But before we get there, MUFC versus LGD, and that's coming up next. Thanks all for tuning in. Again, if you enjoy these games, if you want to see more top class Asian Dota coming your way from beyond the summit, be sure to subscribe to the stream. Every little bit makes a big difference. And also, my cat will come kill you and kill some kittens if you don't. So keep that one in mind. Thanks again for tuning in guys we'll see you in just a little bit for lgd versus mufc lgd moves on